Yes, Lord, we celebrate your goodness tonight. Come on. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, wonderful listeners this morning. Uh, this is uh, the psalm for the day coming to you from Central Parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Abuja. Uh, today we are going to look at Psalm 140, Psalm 140. Of course, in the next three days, we are going to consider three verses. That is verse 1 to 3. Um, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, uh, we thank you for your faithfulness again. Thank you for the opportunity here to listen to your word. Father, as your word comes forth, let your word bring blessing, deliverance, healing to your children. Thank you, because the word of God is going to make great impact in the life of every hearer. Blessed be your name. Thank you, ancient of days. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Like I said, uh, our psalm for the day is taken from Psalm 140. And uh, we are going to consider verse 1 today, but I would want us to read up to verse 3, because we shall take... Um, the three verses in the next uh, three days. Please, if you have your Bible with you, I want you to open with me to Psalm 140. Let us read it together. It says, Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man. Preserve me from the violent man. Verse 2. Which imagine mischiefs in their heart continually, and they, continually are they gathered together for war. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent. Others' poison is under their lips. Praise the Lord. Uh, verse 1 says, Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man. Preserve me from the violent man. That is what we are considering today. And this is the psalm of David. David sang this um, psalm unto the Lord. He cried for deliverance because he knows that God Almighty is a deliverer. God is always there to deliver his own children. He says, deliver me or rescue me from the evil man. Who is the evil man? An evil man you know, is uh, a wicked, sinful, ungodly, vile, devilish, horrible uh, person. He's described in that adjective. That is who an evil man, a man who is wicked, is said to be an evil man. He delights in wickedness. He delights in mischief. Now, who is um, a violent man? Violent man is a man who is brutal. He is vicious, fierce, wild, hot-headed, bloodthirsty. He has murderous tendency and is merciless. And the two words, evil and um, violent man, they go together. So they are in the same enterprise. They do the same thing. And um, David was crying that God should deliver him uh, from this um, set of uh, people. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, David has uh, or had experienced deliverance or deliverances. If we look at the story concerning him, right from the back side of the, uh, the desert while he was there to take care of uh, his father's um, flock. The Bible says that he was able to, or uh, God delivered him from the power of a lion and a bear. If you look at this, 
book of um, First Samuel chapter 17, verse 37, we see that story there. That David admitted that God delivered him from this wild beast while he was at the backside of uh, David. I mean, of, of the desert. Now, in the book of First Samuel also, chapter 18 and chapter 19, I want us to read it from um, Amplified Version. Let us look at it. This is another deliverance that God delivered uh, David from the hand of Saul. Now, verse 10 of chapter 18 says, Now it came about on the next day that an evil spirit from God came forcefully on Saul, and he raved madly inside his house while David was playing the harp with his hand, as usual. And there was a spear in Saul's hand. Saul held the spear, for he thought, I will pin David to the wall. But David evaded him twice. That was what happened. It was God that delivered him from the hand of Saul. And um, again, we can see how God also delivered David and the children of Israel from the Philistines, from Goliath. First Samuel chapter um, 17. If you read the story there, you will see how God Almighty delivered um, David. So David has all the experience of deliverances. He can boldly say that God is a deliverer. And if God had delivered him because he trusted in the Lord. You too can be delivered from a violent man, from the attack of the enemy, whether it is the attack is physical or spiritual, because the word of God says that God would deliver the righteous from his own enemies. If you go to Psalm 91, Psalm 91, let us look at Psalm 91, verse 14. Verse 14. He says, Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. See, it is because God has promised deliverance to those who do what? Those who love him. Those who put their trust in him. He says he will deliver them. And those who know his name. The question is, do you know the name of the Lord? Does he know you? Because the Bible says God knows those who are his. And those who are his should refrain from iniquity. Hallelujah. So there is deliverance for the, the people of God. And so no matter what the enemy is doing or planning, when you trust in the Lord, he will do what? He will bring deliverance. God will bring deliverance. Now, in the book of Proverbs chapter 1, reading from verse 10, the Bible says, My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. If they say, Come with us, let us lay wait for blood. Let us lock privily, secretly for the innocent, without cause. Let us swallow them up alive as the grave, and, and hold as those that go down into the pit. We shall find all precious substance. We shall fill our house with spoil. Cast, cast in thy lot. Cast in thy lot among us. Let us all have one pause. My son, walk not thou in the way with them. Refrain thy foot from their path. For they, their feet run to evil and make haste to shed blood. So that is a wicked person. That is an evil man. And as a child of God, God said, you should not be part of them. These are bloodthirsty people. We see in our own environment today, we see in our world today, how people betray each other. How people 
undercut each other. How people plan to kill each other, even very young people. Praise the name of the Lord. Because they want to make money. Because they want to gain, um, uh, 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 get into a position of authority. They can do anything. So we must be careful because all those who are doing all these things, a day of judgment is coming. And I pray that in the name of Jesus, you and I will not be on the wrong side, on the wrong side of the judgment. We will be on the right side. That God would approve our works on earth here. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord will deliver us. He has delivered before. He will ever deliver. And he will continue to deliver those who trust in him. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we thank you because you are the great deliverer. You can deliver even unto the uttermost. You have delivered so many of your children in, in the Bible that we've seen so many deliverances. And you will keep deliv delivering because Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Thank you because... We shall not be victims to the devil and to the evil man and violent man. Be thou exalted, O Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen.